It says only the best gunmen earn the finest arms. This picture is sinister. Surely there is something behind this fresco. This hole must be part of some mechanism. Surely there is something behind this fresco. Nothing can stop an inventive and logical mind. The same woman seen in the trophy photograph. How dreary, the swamp. We must hold fast as it is imperative that we go there tonight. Everything in good time. First, I must find Watson. Hmm, very interesting. It is possible to take down an elephant with one shot using these weapons. Unfortunately, the metal grid is too solid to break through. Perhaps it is time to take care of this young man. Everything in good time. First I must find Watson. Watson, read this. It sheds light on a dark and sinister enterprise.
Arneson was in contact with the Northwood Agency. He wanted to inform them about the activities of Ashmat, but why? Because his servant was secretly selling the same stolen jewellery sought by this agency. How is she, Watson? It will be difficult for her to speak for some time. She had a narrow escape. Can she walk? Yes, but why? Come with me. Your brother is behind this door, miss. He is wounded, but only superficially. It is extremely urgent that he opens this door. Can you call to him? Perhaps it will draw him out. David. David. Young man, I know that you can hear and understand me. We are here at the request of your sister, who is with us now. She is very worried about you, and rightly so. The man with me is a doctor. He is going to look at your wound and ease your suffering. Please come out. Everything will be all right. Open the door, Davy. These gentlemen talk true. Come on now. Open up the door for Eula. Miss, you should go and get some food for your brother. He must be very hungry. Have you finished, Watson? Well, yes. Very well. Please understand, my young lad, and you too, Miss Euler. We are here to solve an affair that risks many people's lives. Furthermore, we have very short time to save them. As for you, young man, you know some very important things. You must tell us everything and leave nothing out. But what are you going... Listen to me, I will tell you a story. Davy, five days ago, at night, you were woken up by noises from the dining room. First you heard the voice of the gardener, and then a loud blow to the floor. You got up and took the candle which was lit. Then you went to the dining room. On your way, you found something on the floor and picked it up. It was likely a piece of paper. Afterwards, you went to the door of the dining room and saw the dead body of Colin the gardener soaking in a pool of blood. You also saw Ashmat, the other servant, dragging Mr. Arnson, who seemed dead towards the door. Ashmat saw you, struck at you with his knife, and caught you in the arm. Seeing that this blow had not killed you, he raised his knife to strike again and eliminate the only witness to his heinous crime. But something stayed his hand. The item you picked up was far more important. He paused to snatch it up, giving you time to run away and barricade yourself in your room. But if you were there, why didn't you do anything? Mr. Holmes was not there, miss. But if he tells you that things have happened in such a way, you should believe him without any doubt. Then you are a kind of hoodoo man. In some way. David, do this man tell it true? Is this what happened? The good man saved us both. Do what he tells you, Davy. Listen to your sister, young man. Now, Davy, can you recall what was on that piece of paper? Think hard now. Watson, your notebook. Be attentive to everything he draws and copy it down exactly. Holmes, can we trust these figures and make sense of them? I mean to say, consider this boy's affliction. Ah, this boy. A strange one, isn't he? Watson, let's escort him and his sister to her employer. This be the Gallagher's place. Thanks, misters. Miss Euler, we should be thanking you. Now, take good care of your brother. Watson, we must move quickly. The enemy is close at hand and there is another place we've yet to examine.
Ah, a book on the fauna and flora of Louisiana. It's a ham. What a delectable aroma. If only I were hungry. Ah, it's a ham. What a delectable aroma. Closed tight. Yes, Watson, we must pass this way. Before we venture further, we must find some protection from this merciless insect horde. Wait for me here. This should prove useful. Watson, cover yourself with lemon juice. It will protect you from the mosquito stings. Do you know any similar trick to avoid the sting of bullets? We likely need it soon.
There are signs of a struggle here. Perhaps Arnson regained his senses and fought back. Blood, and in large quantities. This bush has been stripped of its lower leaves and slightly uprooted. Someone grabbed hold of the brambles and refused to let go. His adversary, unable to get him down due to the man's tight grasp, must have cut off his hand. I would say his right. What a horror! Rather, and quite determined. A boat was waiting here. Watson, it seems everything leads to the swamp. How can we get there? We must find that fisherman. The one at the docks who gave us information. He could help us. You're quite right, Watson. Besides, it would be wise to visit a young woman. A young woman? Run, Watson! Run! We outran them, Holmes. Surely not, Watson. They ceased their chase only when they saw we continued towards the port. Apparently they have orders to kill intruders only as a last resort. Is this supposed to reassure me? Good evening, my darlings. Come to have a little fun, have you? Well... No, madam. We merely wish to speak with one of your boarders about an extremely urgent matter. Of course you do, darling. How much money are you looking to spend? The matter is... Madam, I must protest. It's not what you think. This is extremely urgent and involves nothing questionable. Oh, sure. I understand. I know all about these urgent matters you fellas have to talk about with the girls. But unless I see the color of your money, you and your urgent matters best keep on moving. At least there are two of you. You can always lend each other a hand. <laughs> <laughs> what did she just say? These Americans have such colorful expressions. Good evening, my darlings. Come to have a little fun, have you? Well... No, madam. We came to give this bouquet to one of your boarders. You know who I'm talking about. We have something very important to say to her. Good evening. You brought these flowers? Who are you? Wh what's happened to- Mr. Arnson? We still do not know exactly what has happened with the gentleman, but we are here to try and find out. Listen to me, miss. Lucy. My dear Miss Lucy, my friend and I have come here all the way from England. You may have seen us this morning with the sheriff. Are you working for him? No. Actually, we suspect him of obstructing our investigation. Our case has some remote connection with Mr. Arnson, so we went to his home to talk with him. While there, we found evidence he has been abducted and one of his servants had been murdered. Kidnapped? But why? I don't know. 
but time is running out. Please tell us what you know about Mr. Arnson and Miss Lucy omit nothing. Even the most trivial of facts may prove to be of great importance. He is such a kind man and had promised we would be married this autumn. He arrived in New Orleans about two years ago. He's a hunter and was to stay but a few weeks. He was after something in the swamp, Lord knows what. Then we met here. I had just started working, you see. Madam said that she would let me leave only if my debts and worth to her was paid off in full. A few weeks ago, Errol, I mean Miss Arneson, said that he had the solution. Maybe he had the money and was kidnapped by people who wanted it. It would have been a small fortune to most folks around here. And you know where he could have hidden it? Oh, I don't care about the money. If it could bring me back, Errol, I'd give it away gladly. He showed me a secret room upstairs. He shoots with a gun to open it. He says that nobody else can succeed but a real marksman. Behind the wall is a cupboard with weapons and a little box hidden behind a big rifle. His money is inside. To open the gate of the cupboard, he uses signet ring that he wears on his right hand. But how can any of this help you? You don't have his ring. You have been of greater assistance than you may realize, Miss Lucy. If Mr. Anson is still alive, we shall bring him back to you. Come on, Watson. Now, Watson, let's explore this swamp. We must find that fisherman, the one at the docks who gave us information. He could help us. Good evening, sir. We are interested in a short trip along the bayou into the nearby swamp. My mouth, nobody but some fool go in that swamp at night. Come back tomorrow. Old Champagne take you then for a fact. No, sir. It is of the gravest importance that we could go to the swamp and tonight. No ways to get there. Listen, you have some boat hereabouts. Now, I can sell you the boat, but tell you true, you get your own sales to the swamp. I believe we can find some manner of payment that you will find satisfactory. We shall return. Will this cover the cost of a boat? It been kept in a bad way. My foot, it warm now for sure. All oh, this'll get you them planks from the woodpile round there. And one of your lanterns. Sold. What do you expect to do with this, Holmes? Build a raft? Watson, let's pay a visit to this Anson. Would you be so kind as to explain to me why we are coming back with these wood planks? We are searching for a signet ring, Watson. And how do these planks help us find it? We must recover the hand that wears it, so we must find a way to lure its finder. But whom are you talking about, Holmes? The 
facts speak for themselves, Watson. The key that unlocks Anson's cupboard is the signet ring he customarily wears on his right hand. There was the very same severed by one of his kidnappers when the poor man clung to the bush we saw on the way to the bayou. It so happens that raccoons are attracted by carrion and also are quite taken by shiny objects. No doubt one has made off with our missing hand and its ring. I noticed their tracks nearby and no doubt they have a nest in this area. Find the raccoons and we find our hand. As you put it, it seems quite obvious, Holmes. It's simplicity itself. But now we need to place some bait so the little fellow will come out and take us back to his den. I am going to set this outside to attract the little devil. I need something. Watson, there's the nest. It's on the roof, above the balcony. <laughs> 